probably think of centipedes as tiny, squishy, bothersome things cowering in your garden. Meet the South American centipede, about a foot long, in your face, and full of surprises. First surprise, this centipede is still growing, so it's got to shed so a new exoskeleton can grow on its body. Like a debutante wriggling out of a too tight evening gown, the centipede has to squirm, slink, twitch, writhe, and ooze out of its confinement. Finally, finally it gets out of its old body armor. Now it has to plump up fast before its epidermis secretes chitin too soon. If the chitin hardens into a shell while the centipede is still on the smallish side, the shedding would have been pointless. Hey, what could be more convenient snacking than that handy old exoskeleton? What do you call this? I mean, it's not cannibalism because that's eating another of your own species. I guess you could call this uh, auto-grazing. The centipede has a new skin and a new attitude. Predator. It's hungry, and eating its old skin just isn't good enough. It's after a baby green iguana. The iguana is fast, twitchy, highly mobile, and impulsive. The centipede is slower, persistent, hungry, and strategic. The centipede advances on the iguana. The iguana retreats. The iguana scoots. The centipede crawls. Scoot, crawl. Scoot, crawl. Whoopsie daisy. Somehow, after all that scooting, the iguana finds itself at the end of a branch. How'd that happen? Uh-oh. The centipede moves in for the moment of truth. The iguana considers its options and, in a defensive response, leaps into the safety of the water below. Okay, so the centipede wasn't satisfied eating its own skin, and then it failed to nab a more substantial meal. Now what? These baby rats are safe because mom is guarding the nest. But mom has to go grocery shopping, leaving the babies completely helpless. Speaking of grocery shopping, the centipede relies on ground vibrations and antennae touch to locate a feast like this one. Mom senses danger and races to the rescue. The centipede is chased off but not before mom discovers one of her babies dead, killed by the centipede. Now, wait a minute. We don't want you to think that centipedes are venom-spewing, hundred-legged baby killers. I mean, the females can be devoted moms. I dare any predator to try and get at these eggs. This mom is literally a basket case. Protecting her eggs until they hatch, and a new generation of fierce, multi-limbed warriors are unleashed on the jungle. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines. This presentation copyright National Geographic Society, 2007.